everybody, I'm Brenda Hess. I am the CNO here at Kingwood Emergency Hospital. We want to take some time with um, the government starting to reopen buildings. The CDC has recommended that, of course, you call her. We wear some sort of face covering out just to protect us from any undue exposure when we, when we need to get out. Um, we want to share with you how to make a simple mask at home, hopefully having some materials that we'll, you can do at home before needing to go out. This is just a simple bandana. If you have a bandana at home, a simple piece of cloth at home will work just fine. And two ponytail holders, nothing fancy. You're gonna take your bandana or your piece of cloth. You're gonna start folding it in nice, even pieces, probably three and a half to four inches, just around. You wanna make sure it's nice and smooth so you don't have any creases. It helps to keep it from being too bulky or cumbersome around your mouth. You finish that, you're gonna take your two ponytails, slide one on each end. Now, depending on the width of your face, will also depend on how close you want your ponytails to go. Your ponytails are, are of course going to be the part that loop over your ears. So you're gonna bring them down to about so. The next simple thing is you're gonna fold one piece in, again, smoothing it out, and you fold your second piece in. Now, that first piece that you folded in, you're just gonna kinda of open up the end of it here. You're gonna use it as an area to tuck your second one in too. This just helps to secure it, keep it from coming unfolded when you're wearing it. Once you've tucked it in, making sure that everything's nice and smooth, of course, your mask is just about ready to wear. I'm gonna pull my ponytails out and it's ready to go on. I'm gonna put it over my nose, making sure it covers my mouth as well, behind my ears, and I'm ready to go. Simple as that. 